Hi, this is just a quick review of various remote apps for controlling the Samsung smart camera. This is the model WB850F. Various models work with these apps. Uh, this is a Wi Fi camera which I've showed an un unboxing video for. Uh, is it got a 21x optical zoom with the optical and digital image stabilization. It's got a 23mm wide angle uh, camera lens. You can put in 64 uh, GB uh, SDXE cards in that. Uh, the sensor is similar to the Samsung Galaxy camera. The uh, lens is the same as the Samsung Galaxy camera, but obviously it's not Android, this one. Think of while the Samsung Galaxy camera is. The advantages with these camera is pretty cheap. I got this for around 99 bucks. Actually, it was on half. Now, presently, it's sell, still selling for about 250 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I got it. Uh, original price is 300 plus bucks. I got it on half price for around uh, 174 or 75 pounds in the United Kingdom. Uh, plus the 50 pound Samsung cash back which I have submitted my claim for I'll be getting the 50 pound Samsung cash back so it comes down to 125 but because the box came a little bit wet with rain they gave me a further 26 pound discount so I got it around uh, 99 pounds for the whole thing so I could not ignore the huge difference between this and the Samsung Galaxy camera since basically I can get the same images and I've got the remote link apps as you can see uh, uh, remote viewfinder app uh, which is freely available on the Play Store you can see that's my uh, Sony uh, KDL 46 uh, uh, 853 uh, television which won the Watt Hi-Fi uh, uh, awards for 2012 uh, I'm taking a video of my television uh, there uh, with my Samsung WB850F Wi-Fi camera and I'm using the remote viewfinder app that's available for free on the Play Store and as you can see on my Nexus 7 tablet or you could use it on your phones as well I can see the live video which is coming wirelessly via direct Wi-Fi link uh, and it's a little bit buggy but works I can't zoom the slide bar by sliding it around I have to press this plus and minus button you can see it's working I can set uh, auto flash or I can uh, set uh, the amount of flash that I need I can put a timer as well I can change the megapixels needed as well and you can see these are stored images and if I click you can see it's taking an image it's taken an image on the uh, uh, camera a uh, 12 megapixel image and as you can see if I click it that's a saved image if I uh, go back that's a live video stream being recorded by my camera and that's my television you can see the same image and I can see the same image on my Nexus 7 all done wirelessly so for example how you could use this is if you want to take a group shot and you want to stand in the group but you want to see whether the view from the camera is okay so you could stand with the group far away you can put the camera on a tripod and view the image either on your tablet or on your phone and then if you want you can put a two second timer delay and click it and stand and you can get a group photo it's got a 23 mm wide angle lens it's very good for group photos because you can get more of the image uh, of the scenery uh, around uh, so it's for 30 for example a normal camera which might be 35 mm you'll get a narrower image it's a 23 angle 23 mm wide angle lens so you'll get more of an image and it's pretty particularly useful for group uh, we, uh, group uh, group shots and since it's got a 21x optical zoom it's very good for zoom shots as well and the image stabilization is pretty good although 
the low light performance is pretty ordinary but all in all for 99 pounds I think this was an excellent buy uh, as you can see this works well there are certain other apps which are available for free as well I can do automatic Wi-Fi backups from the camera to my uh, uh, phone or tablet and the app again is freely available and it's called the Samsung mobile link so you can freely Wi-Fi backup to your Android phone or Android tablet. Similarly, without an app, but you can directly Wi-Fi back to your laptops as well using an Intel uh, software provided by Samsung called Intel Studio. Also, there are various other uh, apps uh, by Samsung. Uh, the Remote Viewfinder app will not act, uh, will work for. The older Samsung smart cameras but not for the Samsung Galaxy camera for the Samsung Galaxy camera there is a separate uh, uh, remote viewfinder app for Galaxy camera you will need to use that one instead for all other smart cameras you will just need to use a remote viewfinder app and there is one more app which come uh, if you want uh, if you want to do uh, remote Wi-Fi backup of all your uh, video and uh, files and uh, uh, and photos, you need to choose the Samsung Mobile Link. I'm not going to show it because I've got my child's photos and things like that. I don't want to publish it on the net, so I'm just showing the app. So all your photos and videos on your phone using this app. A similar method like this remote viewfinder app you can directly get uh, either view it on your tablet or copy it onto your tablet you can if you want you can delete it as well from the camera or vice versa it's free both apps are free and the various other apps uh, by Samsung you can look it up on the Play Store all of these some of these uh, like the smart camera it, it teaches you uh, various things you can get product manuals and things using the smart camera app. There are a couple of other apps by the same name. For example, the Samsung smart camera app which looks like this. I'm just showing it because there's various apps by the same name. The one which looks like this which is the latest app. The newest update has got NFC features in the permissions. Um, and recently in the last week uh, there have been leaks about a newer version of the Samsung Galaxy camera. I don't mean the one which has been released a few months ago in October. The newer version has been leaked on some Android websites. It's got a different model number. And I think since this is showing for 2013 version, it's got NFC features. I think the new Galaxy camera will come with NFC. Uh, but this app combines the remote link app and the remote viewfinder and the Samsung mobile link and some other additional features but presently it's next to useless because it's not working at least as far as I can tell I've tried on multiple devices it's not yet working and some multiple people all the reviews on uh, Play Store are saying the same thing about this app but hopefully they'll get it working so and then you'll just need one app to use as a remote finder and also to copy or presently you need to use two separate apps okay but it's free and it works so it's pretty useful if you've got a samsung smart camera you can use these apps hope you find this useful thank you bye